Shrimp and a half. Shrimp and a half. Obviously, the shrimp and a half is related to the shrimp. Shrimp has to be right. So it's a shrimp plus a little more. Not all of it, just half. Shrimp and a half. On our backs. I perform the shrimp. Make the leg straight. Keep this leg bent. There's like a string here that pulls my hips to the side, and I stretch the leg all the way. And then perhaps I realize that that alone is not enough. So now I utilize the pushing leg again. Look, open it, make another base. And instead of pushing my hips away again, I'm just gonna fold this leg and thread right the needle. Just like thread goes right through the eye of the needle, I thread this leg in the open space right here. And as I do this, look, I don't roll over and give the opponent the attacker my back. No, my hips move only. So I'm close, I open and stretch, I open the door a little more for extra space, and then now I thread the, the, I put the thread through the needle, and look what happens, my hips turn. Now how do I successfully turn my hips all the way down without rolling over? See, this is still a base. If I give up the base and collapse, now I'm vulnerable, so I still need to have this base. So what do I do? Look, I take my foot and I turn it from the knee down and I use my toes in the mat to push myself this way. Now I've gone as far as I can using my toes, so I use my knee. Now I just follow, look, toe, knee, toe, knee. And you see what's happening? I still have a base and my hips are turning down, but I'm not rolling over flat, collapsed. One thing that happens is my arm gets stuck, so in order to move my arm, I just lift my hips up a little bit and take my arm out. Then I put the legs together, the hands are flat, and I can do two things. I can jump myself forward, like that, or I can walk myself back. One, two, three, right here. So I perform a shrimp, and the shrimp is not enough. So I open the door one more time, and I stretch this leg through, just like thread going through the eye of the needle. I stretch here. Look, I stretch the leg all the way. I don't do this and then start to turn. I stretch the leg to its maximum length. Then I use the toe and the knee. The toe and the knee. The toe and the knee. Now that that's been stretched as far as it can go, and I still have this base here, I take my arm out from underneath, put the legs together, and either jump myself forward or walk myself back. And at regular speed, it looks like this. All right? Real world application. Same reason I use the shrimp. Kriyata is laying on my chest from the side mount. And every time I put my frames in and I make my legs straight and make a shrimp, he follows me. So we just go like this all day in a circle. And I don't get anywhere. So now what can I do? I keep the frame, I shrimp, and I see that he's gonna follow me every time I open the door again. And I stretch the leg and I walk and I walk and I walk. And look, eventually I face him. Now I can put the legs together and walk myself away. And I'm back to my knees. All right? Let's give it a try. <laughs>